Hi and welcome, this is Matt Garrett. I'm just creating a quick video to show you how easy it is to create your own t-shirt store like this one using a very simple WordPress theme. Uh, I say simple, it's very uh, complex, there's a lot in there, but it's very, very easy to use and get a t-shirt site up and running. And there is also an option to get a plugin as an addition, uh, which will allow you to create your own t-shirts really quickly and easily as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is log on to my admin area. And here I am in the WordPress dashboard. I've already got the theme loaded up, and obviously I could go and play with the theme options to make uh, changes to how it looks and feels. Uh, it is very quick and easy, especially if you just go for the default settings, which I've gone for. Uh, I had my whole site up and running in about 17 minutes. But what we're really interested in is this part here for add shirts. And if you choose search for shirts, uh, you can choose which store you're gonna search on. I've gone to screened, gone for product search, put in a keyword, uh, tick the affiliate links and make sure I'm going for 20. Then I've just hit search and it's come up with a whole bunch of t-shirts that I could possibly use straight away on my site. Um, using the word keyword selfie, obviously it's come up with some that are re related to taking selfies. Uh, I quite like this one. I'm a model, just kidding, I take selfies, so I'm gonna grab that one. Uh, that one's quite good, it's I am beautiful backwards for a selfie picture. Uh, if we scroll down, what else have we got? Can't see what that one actually says. Uh, this is my selfie. What else have we got? Uh, selfie with an arrow sticking up. I'll go with that one as well. Uh, I think that there's a, a white version with black on that as well. So basically, through those t-shirts, I've quickly scrolled through and ticked the box for four of them. Chosen four that I like, and that's I could research, I could search again to bring up more examples. Uh, I could search on another keyword. But let's say I just want to post those. I'm going to put them in t-shirts and I'm going to import selected products live. Usually I go to draft and then go through and approve them in the order that I want them to publish in. Um, but I'll just go with products live on this one and pause the video while it updates. Okay, so it didn't actually need to pause the video there. It finished updating by the time I hit pause. Okay, let's go back to the site itself. I'm going to hit refresh. Um, those should have now been posted on the site, and if I hit refresh and scroll down, they're not appearing at the top because I've got some sticky at the top. Uh, a couple of these are actually my own t-shirts, and they're some of my favorites. You can also define whether the most popular ones, i.e. those that are most visited and clicked on, turn up at the top of your list or the newest. Uh, I've got a sidebar here which is showing the newest, and you can see, here we go, selfie, uh, I'm a model, I am beautiful, those are all there. And if I scroll on down and get to the bottom, it will refresh and pull up the extra posts. Here we go, these are the most recent that we just posted on the site. So it's that quick and easy to find new t-shirts and add them to your t-shirt site. It really is quick. Now let's have a look at the Covert Shirt Builder. Now when you buy the Covert Shirt theme, what I've just shown you is what you get. Uh, this is an extra, it's a one-time offer that you will only see if you buy a copy of the theme. If you do, you get this option to go for the, the plugin as well. This allows you to actually build and design your own t-shirts and pop them straight onto Teespring. Okay, so it's really, really powerful. Whoops, I said Teespring, didn't I? Uh, obviously, it's screened uh, that it does it for. Um, but let's go through of the settings here. Just put in your username and password for screen. Let's go through the campaigns. I've already set one up. Uh, prize T funnies. Basically, if we click on edit, you can see what I've done here. Uh, I've put in a name for the campaign. I've put in a keyword. Uh, I've put in that I want to search Google Images. You could also search song lyrics, IMDb movies, uh, search quotes, and Urban Dictionary. So you can decide where you want to search for ideas from. And if you go for Google Images, you can choose different formats, sizes, types of pictures, things like that. Okay, next you go to Find Designs and then click on the Find Designs button here for the campaign that you want to run, and it will come up with a whole bunch of suggestions. Uh, if I scroll down here, you can see there's quite a few here. This first page, they aren't particularly brilliant. If we go to uh, the last page, page four, this page has some Google images on it. Um, not all of them are particularly useful for a selfie. That, that could be useful for a selfie, I suppose. Uh, the one I actually like here is this first one of the globe, the earth, because you could have that as a picture on a t-shirt and underneath have a uh, slogan saying long distance selfie or anonymous selfie, something like that. So you could very easily create a t-shirt from that. However, let's go back to page three and find one of the sayings on here that I like. 
Okay, we've got a few here. Uh, oh my God, look at me, Instagram selfie, or hating me doesn't make you look pretty, or make you pretty. Uh, I am who I am, your approval isn't needed. I quite like that one. So what you need to do is go through, delete any that you don't like, and save the ones that you do. Uh, I'm not actually gonna do that at the moment, because I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. This was page three. So let's actually go to create shirts, and I can then create a shirt from that particular quote on page three. So on create shirts, down to page three, let's go and find it. I am who I am, your approval isn't needed. So let's click on create. It brings up an extra box. Okay, let's scroll up a bit so you can see more of what's going on. Uh, my shop is price T, the type of apparel, let's go for uh, unisex. Uh, let's go for a color, let's go black and then have the writing in white going to put the design on the front. Uh, you can choose different fonts. Um, so obviously, if you hover over the question mark, it'll give you an idea of what they are. Uh, I'll probably go with flux on this one. I think that looks quite good. Uh, and let's go with a font color of white. And I am who I am. Your approval isn't needed. We're going to put it in t-shirts. And let's just put I am who I am as the title. And Let's put that in, I am, comma, who I am, uh, as the tags. Now let's click on generate preview, and we will get a preview of what our t-shirt's gonna look like. Now the fonts, uh, you may wanna play around with the different fonts to get a size that you actually like. I'm not totally happy with that. Uh, so let's just choose one of the other ones at random. I don't know what Val is going to be like, but if I again click on generate preview, basically keep going through until you find, no, see that font's not even better either. Uh, let's go with, what we got here. Let's scroll around a bit so I can see it. Let's go with Courier. Simple and easy. And again, let's click on Generate. And once it comes back up, I am who I am, your approval isn't needed. It's that easy to create your T-shirt. Uh, once you've finished, just click on Create Shirt. And uh, the page, do you want to finish this? Yes, I do. Let's click on OK. And basically it takes a second or two there and it will actually create that t-shirt on screen and post it onto our site as well. Uh, if I hit refresh on here, so bring up our site again. If we go back to the sidebar where I've got newest, here it is, I am who I am. Let's click on that. Here it is, prizetea.com, I am who I am. There's the t-shirt. It's $24.99 on screen. If I click on add to cart, that will actually take me through to screen so I can buy it. Okay, that's how amazingly quick and easy it is to design your own t-shirts, have them up on screen and be selling them on your own t-shirt site using the covert shirt uh, store theme and the plugin. Don't forget that you only get the option to buy the plugin if you buy the theme. It is a one-time offer, okay? Now, if you want to find the link for it, if you come to Prize T, let's get rid of that. Over on the right here, there is a link saying, get your own WP t-shirt store. And if you go to that post, the link for it is right here, okay? Thanks very much for watching.